Good morning, Ash Church. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. Um, I'm honored and delighted to be able to share a little bit about my quiet time this morning. And it comes from the passage of um, Luke chapter 10, um, verses 10 through, I'm sorry, 38 through 42. And it's a very familiar passage where Jesus is going to the home of Mary and Martha. And Martha is often getting a bad rap in this story because she's so busy. But I want to take into account um, something that happened in the beginning of this chapter that we read yesterday, where the 72 followers that came back um, from being sent out by Jesus, um, they had been going to the surrounding cities, um, doing miracles, um, talking about Jesus, spreading the word of God, and they come back telling Jesus everything that's happened. Well, I want to take um, this possibility of maybe some of these 72 followers um, are still with Jesus now, going from place to place. And so possibly uh, Mary and Martha could have had um, 50 or more people in their house. So what a big um, job it would have been for Martha to get her home ready for all these guests. And um, so she is busy making bread, getting water from the well, uh, making sure that she has enough food, enough mats for the floor for everyone to sit on as they listen to the teacher. But she's not complaining. However, she is getting a little resentful in her heart towards her sister. But she does exactly what she should do. She goes to the teacher, goes to the Jesus first. And she says, Jesus, now, let me stop and say she interrupts his teaching. She must have trusted Jesus quite a bit to be able to interrupt his teaching. And she says, Jesus, don't you think it's unfair that my sister is sitting here while I'm doing all the work? Now, when we go to Jesus with heart issues, we need to be prepared to receive what he says to us. Sometimes it's not always what we think it should be or what we want to hear. And in this case, um, Jesus says, Martha, you're so worried and so distracted by all the many things. And Mary is sitting here at my feet with undistracted devotion, and I won't take this privilege away from her. So in other words, he's saying, Martha, you're worried about yourself and what other people are thinking about you, whether you're a good hostess or not. Um, you're so consumed with all this, the things of this world that you're losing focus. The living word of God is right here speaking, and you're missing out on a great opportunity. So I just want um, us to remember when we are starting to lose focus, if we're starting to feel a little troubled in our hearts, whether it's from worry, bitterness, anxiety, or whatever that might be, Maybe it's just a little bit of frustration, um, but you know you're not okay in your heart. Then we get back into the Word of God, where He guides us and leads us to truth and refocuses our mind back to Him. Also, um, the go to Jesus first, not second or third. Go to Him first. He wants to hear all our troubles. He wants to hear um, all our requests. He loves us and he's jealous for our time and he wants us to ask us, ask him um, questions and come to him. Whether the problem is big or small, he um, takes every issue seriously and he wants to heal our hearts and bring our focus back to him. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Miss you, love you, take care.